Welcome back. So let's try and start making a real application now where we actually have uh, some kind of menu you can type into. I want to do this, I want to do that. And you're also going to get something like we're going to start using lip lists. We're going to start looking at other types of uh, code you can write, like switch statements. We're going to look at lists, arrays, and we're going to start looking at the generics. So a lot of cool things we're going to add by writing this application. And just to get started, I just made some of the code for you already. Um, Inside uh, the code where, that we had last time, the employee one, I just cleaned up a bit before you had like the get salary function here or method and I just removed that because I want to use a property instead. So I just wanted to show you that's, that's gone. And um, besides that, I kind of just cleaned everything from the program file. So let me just show you that. Uh, let me just clean up here again. I cleaned everything from the program file and I just redid it. So this is completely empty now. All that's in here is pretty much just like we've done a few times before. I'm going to start out making an int value. Just uh, this is going to be the menu selection. So I could have called it that. Maybe that's a better name. Let's try and rename here just to show you. You can control R R and you can actually rename this value name. So I'll uh, control R and I'll do it again. I did it twice and then I'll rename this value to um, selection menu selection that's better notice it 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 changes it all the way menu selection so don't start doing it manually uh, copy pasting you can of course but I just want to show you control R and then you can change stuff around so I start out by setting that menu selection to minus one and then I go into a while loop and this guy will just continue running forever and ever until I press zero to get out of the while loop so as long as the menu selection is not zero, this will keep going forever and ever, just running a loop. That's pretty much the same thing you're seeing with any other Windows application. It's it runs some kind of loop behind the scenes where you can just do th things until you press exit and then, it's, then it ends, right? So what do I want to do in the loop? Well, the first thing I do is just pretty much print out some few information sets. What do you want to do? You want to press zero, then you'll exit, or you want to press one to create an employee. Let me just start this just to show that these pop up and we'll just try and press zero to end the application again just to show you that step. Give it a second. All of this is something you already tried, right? So you tried to write to the console, you tried to read a, a line in as a string and convert it into a number. And then here we're doing an else if statement. So nothing new here at all yet. It's just basic stuff. Oh, I have an error. Let's see that. That's also a cool thing to see. Uh, I started it anyway, which was kind of stupid, uh, but let's just end this, see what the error was. So down here, the reason I didn't see it was I had shut this out of the way. There should be an error list. Let's find it. Window, view, sorry, and error list. There we go. Something here with the employee controller. Oh, I I'm, I'm removed it by mistake. <sighs> Poor me. So there we go. It's back. Let's save this. So. I just ran the program. Let me do it again just to show you. But, but all I can do right now is just pop up a menu and right now I can just press zero to end the menu. So I press zero, I press enter, it says bye bye, I press enter again and the program shuts down. So that's kind of, but if, if I press one, then I'm going into this area right here. So let me try and run it again. Let me just add a console, um, create em employee code here. There we go. Let's start it again. Give it a second. There we go. So it says press zero to exit, press one to create employee. Let's try and press run. It pops up. It would have done some kind of employee code here. We're going to build that later. If I press K, press enter, not a number. Please try again. If I do nothing, press enter, the program shuts down. Now that might not be what I wanted, but that's what I've done. Um, good. So we are all ready to go. Oh, let's look at what else we did in here. So we, we write these lines and then we do a read line. You already tried that. We try to pass that read line into the menu selection up here. If that pass is okay, then we go in and we say menu selection zero. We go in and say, uh, if that's the case, then say bye bye. If the menu selection is one, then we write, uh, a line saying create employee. So here you're going to do some kind of create with a new keyword, right? So this is where we're going to create the employee. And here we have, uh, if you put in something that's not a number, then you print out not a valid number. If it's not one or zero, it just, that's not a valid number, try again. And here we have another else that says, this is not a number, please try again. And that is of course, if the if statement here cannot pass the value you're putting in, right? So 
that's just a basic program that's just to get started now you guys get that program and have a look at it if you want to um, I'm going to try and tag it and then next time I'll show you how you can download this part of the program see you next time